Hi everyone, today I will show you how to assemble the Tilta Hydra Alien car mount system. Begin by separating L4 and the cross connector. Next, take a small suction cup and insert it at the end of L4. Lock down the suction cup with a red washer. Do the same thing at the other end of L4 with the other small suction cup. Remove the protection caps from the suction cups. Position the suction cups accordingly. Activate the suction cups by depressing the suction valve until the line is no longer visible. Slide the cross connector to the center of L4. Remove and expand the dovetail plates L1, L2, and L3 from the case. Mount the apparatus as shown and lock down with a red washer. You may want to use a small piece of foam to prevent the apparatus from scratching the car. Install the large suction cup at the bottom and secure with a red washer. Activate the suction cup by depressing the suction valve until the line is no longer visible. Adjust the support arm as necessary. Remove the spring arm with hydraulic piston from the case. Install the spring arm upright and lock down with a red washer. Next, grab the shock absorbing head connector with power supply modules. Install the head to the arm and lock down via the red washer. Remove the quick release plate from the head. Screw the quick release plate onto the Ronin S2 power supply base plate. Attach the quick release plate with power supply base plate to the shock absorbing head. Attach the already balanced Ronin S2 gimbal. Secure the power supply base plate with the gimbal via the hex screw and arm. Attach batteries. Plug in the 2-pin to P-TAP cable. Increase the tension of the spring arm by adjusting the knob. The arm should fall even and horizontally. Tighten all red washers with the tool. Increase the dampening of the piston for bumpy terrain. Attach the remote control receiver module for RS2. Turn on the gimbal. Auto calibrate. Now, you can remotely control the Ronin S2 gimbal head. You can configure the Hydra Alien in multiple positions. Now we will show you how to mount to the side door of a car. Mount the suction cups on either end of L3 with the cross connector at the center. Attach L1 to the cross connector and lock down via the red washer. Attach the large suction cup to the bottom and secure via the red washer. Install the spring arm. Install the shark absorbing head connector with power supply module. Slide in the power supply base plate. Attach the RB balance gimbal and secure the power supply base plate with the gimbal via the hex screw and arm. Attach batteries. Plug in the 2 pin to PTAP cable. Attach the remote control receiver module for RS2. Tighten all the red washers with the tool. Increase the tension of the spring arm by adjusting the knob. The arm should fall even and horizontally. Turn on the gimbal and you're ready to shoot. Now we will show you how to mount the Hydra Alien to the side door of the car with the gimbal facing the driver.
Mount the small suction cups on either end of L3 with the cross connector at the center. Attach L1 to the cross connector and lock down via the red washer. Attach the large suction cup to the bottom and secure via the red washer. Slide the dovetail support plate L4 to the top of L1. Slide L2 to the bottom of the apparatus. Then slide L2 onto L4 to create a level shelf. Adjust L2 accordingly. Attach the steel wire shock absorbing head with power supply module to L4 and secure via red washer. Slide in the power supply base plate. Attach the already balanced gimbal and secure the power supply base plate with the gimbal via the hex screw and arm. Attach batteries. Plug in the two pin to PTAP cable. Attach the remote control receiver module for RS2. Turn on the gimbal, face toward the driver, and you're ready to shoot. Now we will show you how to mount the Hydra Alien to the rear corner of a car. Start by attaching the small suction cups to each end of L4 with the cross connector in the center. Attach the apparatus with the suction cup attached at the top. Secure via red washer. Install the spring arm upright and lock down via red washer. Install the shock absorbing head connector with the power supply module. Slide in the power supply base plate. Attach the already balanced gimbal and secure the power supply base plate with the gimbal via hex screw and arm. Attach batteries. Plug in 2 pin to PTAP cable. Attach the remote control receiver module for RS2. Plug in the Limo cable to the remote control receiver modules. Cleanly mount the cables onto the cable ties. Use the mini suction cup cable ties to feed the cable to the passenger side window. Plug in the Limo cable into the controller to control the gimbal. Now we will configure the Hydra Alien on the hood of the car. Add the suction cups and dovetail support to create a T-shaped apparatus. Suction cup the apparatus to the hood of the car. Attach the steel wire shock absorbing head with power supply modules and secure via the red washer to L3. Slide the full balance gimbal with power supply module, remote control receiver module, and quick release already installed. Add batteries. Plug in the two pin to PTAP cable. Tighten all red washers with the tool. Turn on the gimbal and you're ready to shoot.
Now we will configure the Hydra Alien onto the back of a car. Attach the mini suction cups to both ends of L4 with the cross connector at the center. Activate the suction cups by depressing the suction valve until the line is no longer visible. Slide the cross connector to the center of L4. Install the suction cup at the top of the apparatus. Connect the middle plate to the cross connector. Activate the suction cups by depressing the suction valve until the line is no longer visible. Secure via the red washer. Adjust the plates so that the outermost plate is perpendicular to the ground. Install the spring arm upright and lock down with the red washer. Install the shock absorbing head connector with power supply module, secure via the red washer. Slide in the power supply base plate. Attach the already balanced gimbal. Attach batteries. Secure the power supply base plate with the gimbal via the hex screw and arm. Increase the tension of the spring arm by adjusting the knob. The arm should fall even and horizontally. Tighten all red washers with the tool. Turn on the gimbal. Auto calibrate. and you're ready to shoot.